Hello and welcome back to the Livingston Curio Mode and today, um, as usual, we'll obviously be kicking straight into the action. Um, I'm hoping this season goes on a bit faster than uh, the other ones. Um, kicking off against Motherwell. Now, I don't know if Motherwell won or lost the first game or drew it or whatever, but I don't think it really matters too much. And uh, we're kicking off with Reese Nelson getting his debut goal. Uh, the thing is, <clears throat> um, I'm probably not going to be paying attention to the league as much this season, um, just mainly because I just kind of want to get it over and done with. It hopefully it won't be too important. Um, although I would say we've been in fairly good form. Um, I'm just very happy about how the team is doing. Um, if you watched the last episode you will obviously see why. Um, and if you're watching this episode, you're obviously seeing why at the moment, that's 2-0 in 22 minutes. Um, a very lucky goal to be fair for that one, but um, just generally speaking, we're playing fantastic football and then Navarro gets 3 in the 35th minute. Um, and, well that's obviously good for him because he's previ his previous season specifically just wasn't too great. Now, Ogil just kind of flicked his way through here, very close to scoring. Um, bit of a weird save, but fuck it. I mean, he pulled off the save. Nothing I can really do about it. Very lucky break here for Reese Nelson. Cuts back inside. Defender can't catch him. Does a roulette, which is kind of pointless. Keeps dribbling, gets tackled, and then the goalkeeper uh, grabs that. And that would end the game. And we win 3 0 against Motherwell in the first game of this episode. Um, I'm pretty sure we've not even conceded a goal yet this season. I think we've played three games and we've scored about eight goals. Um, and we've still not conceded yet. Now we're playing up against Dundalk. If I'm even saying their name right. Irish champions. Um, and, well, we kind of want to get the game over the line. And no other way to really do that other than get a really early goal with Morrison. Very nice finish. Making it 2-0 on aggregate. Because we beat them 1-0 in the first leg. Uh, with Reese Nelson scoring the goal, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, Morrison had a very good game. Very close to scoring his second goal there. Um, surprised they missed it for that close, to be honest. Considering... I mean, I mean, he was basically in the six-yard box there when he missed, and he just didn't score. Uh, here he comes down this right wing again, and what a ball this is to chance to in the finish as well. Um, Morrison just running right is down the right wing. Nobody picked up chance to at the other side. Obviously, resulting in the goal, and this is only 25 minutes in as well. I'm surprised, I mean I don't think it would have went in, but, um, you know, I left that ball at the end there, and they could have genuinely scored. Uh, Toure with the shittest pass I think I've ever seen in my life, um, it should have been 3, uh, 70th minute here we are. Um, I kind of just wanted to keep this in as a highlight, I mean the pass wasn't great. But Toure was confusing me because he went to make the run, then as I passed it to him, he stopped. Um, great ball from Chancellor into Morrison. And for some reason, I chipped this. I guess I just thought the keeper was going to come out for it, but he didn't. And then Kravinovic catches the ball at the end of the game to make it 2 0 to us, 3 0 in aggregate, and we are through to the next round of the Champions League. Um, and we will have another qualifier. This game up against Dundee. Dundee are probably the worst team in the league other than Hamilton. So I decided, well this is the perfect game to bring in some youth players. Tyler Carter, 16 year old, 5 foot 7, 61 rated. Um, 5 star skills, I should have changed these bits before the game but I didn't, completely forgot. Um, you know, just to give him a bit more of a personality. Um, Impossible but such a generally very ugly. Um, but yeah, 5 star skills, 3 star weak foot, a player for the future I would say, I think he's an exciting prospect and we get all, we get off the mark with another fantastic start, you know, scoring in the 3rd minute this time, last game it was a 6th or 7th minute. 
Um, yeah, there was a bit of confusion over this right side. Um, but Tyler Carter showing his skills, getting it out to Torres, and Torres strikes it, but of course it obviously has to hit half a defender. Um, and then a pass here hitting off a defender again. Toure playing it through to Torres, and Torres with another really poor shot. Um, I, re I really hope that the shooting gets fixed because it's quite poor sometimes. Um, very great pass and play here though. Into Jordan Gray, this is the second half. Just hitting the hour mark and Jordan Gray puts it in the back of the net. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But yeah, Jordan Gray, this is probably his breakthrough season as well. Uh, he's great, absolutely fantastic. I mean, he did play obviously quite a good amount last season as well, but yeah, and what a ball this is from Nice, uh, nice Wilson, Reese Nelson. Uh, taking it to the byline, Ronaldo Chop, great ball into Sibold, and he heads it near post, and that makes it 3 0 to Livingston. Yet to concede a goal. Three games played, three wins, 10 goals. Um. Hibs and Celtic have also done the same thing, only less goals and have conceded. Um, Rangers, who I would expect to be your closest rivals, to be honest, um, only winning two of the first three games, which is surprising. But yeah, the second and final qualifier for the Champions League, up against Copenhagen, and um, basically playing our strongest possible lineup, in my opinion. Um, minus maybe Sibold. I've got Bobby Burns in there who hasn't been great this season. Uh, Morrison trying to make his way, however the fuck you say his name. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because I would just absolutely bottle it. Great ball from Bobby Burns. Great ball in from fucking Navarro. But defence is all over it. And not much happens in this first half as you can see. Um, Morrison up to the Mano. Back into Morrison. And that was meant to be a shot, but I'm pretty sure it was just a touch. And um, that would be the end of the first half. And well, nothing really happened in the first half, as you can tell. Navarro cutting inside, keeps going, and... Uh, Pre-patch. Probably challenging the keeper. But not today. Um, now, the reason I slide tackled there because I genuinely thought there was no way that he could get that ball in without Sainsbury catching it but he somehow did and then as a result Sainsbury got a yellow card um, yeah just a very strange one but Ojo making his way through the middle and that is a goal um, for once a low driven shot actually paid off and it's a really bad habit that I've got myself into uh, the low driven shot sometimes it just feels like it should work but we did beat Copenhagen though, um, away from home but yeah, I felt like um, sometimes the low driven shot does work, sometimes it doesn't, and it depends on the situation really. But that was one of the situations where I was like, yeah, we should, you, you know, this should result in a goal. It did on this off chance. Um, but a lot of the time it just doesn't go in because how much they nerfed it, and what a goal here. That one wasn't a low driven shot, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was just a finish. Uh, very nice goal, very nice play. Um, and Sibold getting the goal, the captain for this match. Um, Chancellor ends up with the ball, he's run down the left wing. I think that was meant to be a cross, but Gamble are making his way back, even though he's like 32 or 33, he's still faster than Chancellor, who has 92 pace. Makes sense, game. And how the fuck Toure missed that, I don't have a clue. After the way he played last season, you know, getting about 15 goals or something like that. Great ball, by the way, but Sales matches the shot. Um, but yeah, after the way, he, you know, the way he played the entirety of last season, more or less, he somehow manages to miss that chance from that close to the goal. So, is there script? Who knows? Um, I'll let you decide whether that goal was just all that shot sorry was scripted um, and just not meant to go in the back of the net I mean it should have but you know it's FIFA what can you do does it really matter when you've still no conceded all season and you've beat Celtic 1-0 still unbeaten 
still haven't conceded and the next game is up against Copenhagen in the next episode so if you have enjoyed this episode leave a like subscribe of course and um, hopefully I'll see you all next time